I lead a team to teach computers how to understand satellite images and generate important insights to help us plan and build more effectively in the physical world. So our journey began with trying to figure out a way to quantitatively measure rural real estate. After 2020, urbanites became really obsessed with rural homes and land because these properties really offer you a lot more access to green scenery, space, and more affordable prices. And one of the most important steps of buying a rural home is to find out what is actually on the land. This is because land coverage and vegetation directly affect your experience living in the property, and also from an investment perspective can affect your property value as well. But it turns out, Understanding the land coverage is not very easy. These properties are very, very large, so it's physically impossible for you to walk through it and manually inspect the property. As a result, a lot of buyers and businesses turn to satellite images for insights. While this can work to a certain degree, it is still a lacking method for two important reasons. Number one, just eyeballing satellite images doesn't really give you a good understanding of what the property has. It depends too much on the person's perception and intuition to give you any quantitative data that allows you to compare similar properties objectively. And the second thing is, reviewing satellite images can be a very tedious task. And it's pretty much impossible to do on a large scale. For example, if you want to analyze the state of California, you have to go through almost a million images. So then we thought, hey, why don't we teach computers how to understand satellite images and use this information to tell us what they see? After all, computers don't really get tired, and we don't really have to pay them. Well, that's only technically true. Um, so that's exactly what we did. We applied computer vision to satellite images, and the result was really surprisingly reliable and accurate. So on the left-hand side, you can see the original raw image, and on the right, how the computer perceives it. This not only saved us a ton of time, it also gave us really important data that we never had access before. The first type of data is a quantitative way to measure different kinds of land covers. For example, you can see the AI not only mapped out different types of vegetation and terrains, but also the relative size of each. And with this data, we have a very powerful way to quantitatively measure our land and resources. We can use it to measure the yield of a farm, to measure the severity of a drought, and even the buildable areas for empty plots. And that's not all. Satellite images and applying computer vision to satellite images gave us really important insights by offering us spatial relationships between different types of objects. So here, you're seeing two pictures of pools. One of them is an above-ground pool, and the other one is an in-ground pool. It turns out in-ground pools contribute more to your property value than above-ground pools. And computer vision tools can tell the difference between the two by looking at the space immediately surrounding the water. And it turns out, in-ground pools tend to be surrounded by paved areas, whereas above-ground pools tend to be surrounded by dirt, grass, or trees. And using this technique, we can detect homes that are too close to trees that might, might be vulnerable to wildfires. We can also estimate the flooding risk for coastal structures. Applying computer vision to the physical world gave us a way to digitize our planet in a searchable and indexable manner. It creates a scalable way to understand the information and the land we have, and also you can configure the algorithm to look for particular combinations of patterns of terrains and structures. And if you apply the same technology to the same region over time, you get additional insight about how a region evolves. Here's an application we built for local government to detect property changes over time. Municipalities care about property change because they directly affect the property value and thus their tax revenue. But in rural regions, to manually drive around and look for these changes that may or may not be there is not feasible. But with computer vision, we're able to monitor a very large region, detect the changes, and alert authorities accordingly. 
So 2023, I think it's going to be a very exciting year for computer vision. We have more access to satellite images, and the algorithms are becoming smarter and smarter every day. It will change the way we track climate change impact, mitigate natural disasters, plan our crops more effectively, and even assess damages for more. I'm going to leave you today with this one thought. If you are currently a consumer of spatial data or satellite images, think about how to incorporate computer vision into your workflow to make your organization more effective. And if you're in the market for rural property, you should also try to use computer vision to learn about your prospect and make more informed decisions. Thank you very much.